All right, guys, so we're here to check out the Twitch drops in-game now, and uh, we're going to start with the generic drops. And uh, the first one is going to be this fridge right here. And, uh, yeah, this is the Dairy Gold fridge, and you watch for uh, any channel for two hours, and uh, you'll unlock this puppy right here. And it's pretty much just a really old, uh, messed-up-looking fridge with a dairy theme. There you go. And then that, that just big old, uh, you, you can't miss the milk me part. <laughs> there you go. Then, over here, you've got your next one. So for an additional two more hours, that's a total of four hours of any drop-enabled Rust channel on Twitch. And you can get yourself some socks and sandals. Yeah, you know you want those. These are the x uh socks and sandals. I hope I said his name right, and uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, if you ever want socks and sandals, uh, this is a skin for the hide boots, by the way, if you didn't notice. And uh, yeah, I think it was pretty well done. Definitely hilarious, and uh, I love it. it. It fits into the goofiness that is Rust. So there you go. There's that one. And then the final generic drop is going to be a rocket launcher. Yeah, check that out. This is the Telsa rocket launcher, and it's for Telsa, so there you go. And, uh, yeah, it's got the coil up at the front, and uh, it's got all kind of, like, electrical design going on with it there. It's nice copper pieces. Definitely a cool-looking launcher. Go ahead and pop a reload on it right there. And uh, there you go. So this will be your final reward for watching six hours of any drop-enabled rust channel so there you go guys those are the three generics let's go ahead and check out the rest of these ones all right guys and first up here we've got our first mart drop so these means you have to watch the specific streamer for two hours to unlock their drop you can work at the previous generic drops at the same time which is cool uh we've already kind of gone over that with the how does it all work kind of thing here at the uh end so be sure to check that out there and uh yeah this is the bandana or i should say the babushka bizdana <laughs> and this is for sixy denko i i hope I, I don't know if the six z is supposed to be pronounced a certain way or not but one way or another it's like this uh little stitched bandana and uh yeah there you go i mean it's got some babushka russian uh culture there so Oh, and there you can see his name is there on the side as well. We've got one more clothing item for you, and this one is the Pico jacket, which is for Pico. So there you go. That's nice and easy. As you can see, it says Pico on the side, and it's a jacket skin. It's got a nice white and uh, blue kind of combo color. And on the back, you've got a giant uh, Canadian uh, flag, I said, almost said, <laughs> giant maple leaf. Uh, might as well be the Canadian flag, right, guys? It's on there, right? Anyways, <laughs> giant maple leaf. And uh, there you have it. So definitely has kind of like a kind of used but clean look to it. I think a lot of people appreciate the color combo. Then we've got ourselves two deployables. The first one here is going to be Suspect's Door. And uh, yeah, this one is the Door of Glory. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think we can all see why. Uh, if if that needs to explain, be explained to you, then maybe you're not old enough to be playing this game. Uh, <laughs> anyways, out of order. So it's definitely meant to be like a bathroom door, of course. <laughs> Call for a good time with a picture of suspect asking if you've seen this dangerous man or be cautious. <laughs> Wooden doors can be different on either side. So you've got the poster there again and uh, some more duct tape and then uh, quite a mossy door. It's very dank and wet bathroom that this door seems to have come from. So there you have that. Then over here, we've got a new garage door for you. This is for Nora, well, and it's the Nora the Explorer garage door. So, I mean, obviously, there you go. That makes sense. So, as you can see, she's holding an AK with her name on it right there. And then there's just uh, an explosion of parts and components all going around the background with the spinning wheel back there. And she's got on a set of high quality. It's altogether all very rusty stuff and some pretty cool art. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's not just a... Uh, 
garage door with a character on it. There's been a lot of detail put into it to make it be very, very Russ centric, which I, I think a lot of people will definitely appreciate with this really cool art style. And there is a little bit of glow to these doors as well. And lastly, we've got two weapons for you. Right here, we've got a SAR. This one has a very, very cool kind of, uh, I don't know, like graffiti vibe going on to it. This is the Eto SAR, and it is for Edoletto. I believe that's said correct. I, I feel like most butchering names. Anyways, uh, it's got all sorts of neat little details. You've got this uh, skull on the side. And then you've got actual like little bullets drawn on to the clip there. Aiming down the side, so there's another kind of skull going on. You've got a red tip to the side there. Go ahead and pop that reload. And uh, this is one of those kind of styles that a lot of people really desire in game. So it's definitely going to be a popular Twitch drop, I feel. Then, lastly, we've got another MP5 for you, and this one's got a very cool art graffiti vibe going on with it. This is the Skull Crusher MP5 for Pyru TV. So there you go. It's got this uh, skull on it with that big old gnarly tongue coming out, explosion of bones in the background. And then uh, it's got like these little kind of like cuts into it with the green paint coming through so it looks like it was kind of you know painted several times kind of like those you know layered up old cars you know i kind of like that vibe it's really cool all score marks aiming down the sides here you can see it's kind of all worn and torn and then there's you know a little bit of green here and there and some cross bones at the bottom with a black tip to the site and oh i guess we didn't bring any pistol bullets there we go remedy that and there's that reload all right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Let's go ahead and pop off to the end part of the video. If you know how Twitch drops work, you don't need to watch the rest of it. Uh, we're just kinda gonna go over the basics of how it all works and what to do with some basic troubleshooting. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. So uh, keep an eye out for the update video and the actual skins that make it in. It's gonna be probably a mix of some gambling theme for the actual update and, of course, Easter. So, plus some special Easter items from the guys at Face Punch. So, keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, go get those Twitch drops. All right, guys. So, once you're at the Twitch drops page right here, uh, this is what it should all look like. You should see all of the skins that we just went over down here. It goes from the 1st until the 8th. So, uh, there's your times. And, uh, yeah. Gotta love those little spinning animations. Really cool. As I said, you know, general drops versus the streamer drops. So these streamer drops, you're gonna have to watch the specific streamer when they are streaming Rust uh, for two hours. If uh, one of these guys quits in between and you're not fully finished, you can switch over to someone else that is live. And then these general drops down here can be earned from any channel that is uh, streaming Rust with the drops enabled. And uh, so you have to make sure it does say drops enabled. So technically you could say, let's say watch Pico and earn both the fridge and the Pico jacket. So, you know, works like that. And then the general drops, uh, it's two, do uh, two extra hours each. So, you know, two hours, four hours, six hours. We kind of already covered that. So basically you're gonna have to make sure that your Steam is linked and your Twitch is linked. Now for me, obviously it's already linked, so you know we're not gonna be doing that step, but you wanna make sure you link your Steam here. Then you can go ahead and sign in with your Twitch. You're just gonna say, yeah, it's allowed. And it should say drops activated now. You should see these three buttons up here. And uh, we'll go over these three buttons real quick. Logout is as simple as it seems, it's logout. Unlink account, this is gonna be, let's say uh, it's telling you you're trying to do this and it's saying that you're already linked to a Steam account. That means you're gonna have to find what account that is and unlink it. Once you figure out what account that is, you're gonna have to come here, log into it, unlink it, and then you can log in with your proper account. Uh, it, that's gonna be something, if you don't know what account it is, you're gonna have to look through Steam or Twitch and figure out where, where your issue is there and uh, do that. 
So that's gonna be between their recovery systems there. This last button is check for missing drops, which we'll get back to in a second as we reach the bottom here. So let's go over the FAQ real quick. Uh, you know, we already kind of covered who you have to watch, so that's fine there. Uh, is there a way to check your progress? So basically, you'll click on there. Uh, if you're on Twitch, it's the same as going to here, which says drops. It'll bring up this page right here. And if you are earning progress towards a drop, it will be right above claimed here with a progression bar you know, showing zero to 100%. Once it hits 100%, it will say claim. And uh, yeah, you just claim that puppy and uh, then there you go, you're set to go. So this is where you will see your progress. Is there a way to do it faster? So can you watch multiple people? Well, I already said with the generals, you can earn a general and a specific drop at the same time, but opening multiple windows or different browsers, uh, multiple logins aren't going to make it go faster. You're, you're gonna have to wait, uh, you can't stack them. And then uh, how long should it take for them to show up in your inventory? Now, it should only take about 10 minutes for it to show up in your Steam inventory if everything is set up properly. It can take up to 30 minutes. If it doesn't seem to be working after 30 minutes, take two things into consideration. One, there's probably a ton of other people overloading the system trying to do the same thing. So it might just be slow. And two, there's this button up here. So check for missing drops. You can click this and usually for me, under five minutes, it pops into my Steam inventory when that happens. So if it doesn't just do it right away like it's supposed to, this seems to always fix it for me. So that is something right there. Now uh, with that, you know, again, it's not a guarantee. It could take up to 30 minutes for it to pop up, all right? Do you need to have Prime or anything else? You do not need Prime, you do have to have a Steam account, and to claim the skins on Steam, you must have Rust owned. Now you can claim them on Twitch without owning Rust, but you cannot claim them to your Steam account until you own Rust, okay? Now, uh, again, if you no longer have access to it, you're gonna have to do the unlinking like I set up there. And so this is uh, the little detail here. What if you don't own Rust yet? So what you do is basically claim them on Twitch, like I said, and then as soon as you own Rust, once you buy it, you go again, you log in here and you actually click this button and boom, they should all drop into your inventory. So, hey, that's how that works right there. Now, there are some other issues I've noticed. Some people have pro uh, some browser problems. Uh, I do, I seem to have one with Chrome. Uh, and it is uh, when, let's say someone logs off, I'm then stuck on them still for the general drops. And I found that clearing my cache and cookies uh, actually fixes that for me. So I just close out the browser. Yeah, I mean, sorry, clear it, close out the browser, open the browser again, re-log into this, and it lets me take progress onto the next person. Uh, this fix has worked for other people as well. So give that a try if you're having problems switching to someone after you're stuck in mid-progress. So uh, that's just something I want to toss in there. Have fun, guys. Uh, go hunt down those Twitch drops and uh, go support your favorite streamers and content creators. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay rusty.